so fam welcome back to another eat enriching quick boop boop with me amelia adia and i'm so excited to share this recipe with you okay at the end of this i was like what <laughs> this should have been first no regrets <laughs> So, so friend, we gonna, we got some simple ingredients here, okay? We gonna start with some peppers, some zucchini, some pre-seasoned chicken. I did season my chicken the night before because I was like, let me, I want my chicken to be off the chain. So that's what you saw me grab out the fridge. Um, a zucchini and some pre-cooked potatoes. <laughs> all right, so fam, so we all gonna be making, you ready? <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> Listen, so fam, we gonna make some chicken kebabs. And let me tell you, so fam, if you don't eat chicken, go get something meatless. Cause these kebabs were so therapeutic to make. And then on top of that, so fulfilling towards the end. All right, so what you gotta understand is you've been sleeping on the kebabs because you would think like, I don't feel like getting in the kitchen. Ugh, I don't feel like doing this. I was having so much fun just dicing these up, putting them together, looking at the colors. Like this was such a fun dish. Okay, so pay attention so you don't miss any steps because I don't want you to get up in the kitchen and be messing up your kebabs and you be like, Amelia. I was like, well, did you listen to all the instructions? <laughs> or did you rush <laughs> to the final product? All right, because what you got to understand, so fam, it's great things take time. And we all think it's exciting when we get a new vision, when we get a new goal, when we get a new gift that we just want to we just want to have the product you know we want to have the final result and things take time so when you get in that kitchen so fam clear your mind out one don't be cooking and crying over the peppers all right we don't we don't need we don't need them sad peppers boo boo we could say those say those for the for the nightmares okay for the dreams let's not be crying over our peppers now you see these pre-cooked potatoes so fam i would not recommend doing raw potatoes with these because it doesn't take that long to cook and you don't want your kebabs in there you know mm -mm -mm. all right and so i know i'm just like <laughs> what happened is i'm doing the voiceover when i look down i'm like dang it's time for me to give y'all instructions already i'll be ready to give y'all the lessons of the day <laughs> I'll be ready, like, hold on, so fam need to need this love. All right, so fam, so take your time with your process. Get in that kitchen and cook love. All right, let's make this meal. So you wanna, this is what I was seasoning my chicken with, all right? These are some of the seasons that I used the night before. Use at your own aggression, you know, I'll use a little sprinkle, sprinkle, and then the next morning, I just put a little bit of this garlic and herb on top of it. All right, so fam, so, you gonna smell the ambiance when you open up this like oh that's how you know your chicken is right because if you open it up and it smell like cold chicken you gotta you gotta go back in the kitchen and add some flavor into that all right you want to just smell flavors when you remove the lid from your pre-seasoned chicken all right and you these two potatoes that i'm using these were not frozen potatoes these were in the like in the chicken cold aisle meaning like they weren't in the freezer so they aren't frozen they're just pre-cooked it says it takes only six minutes when you put it in the oven so be mindful that these are not frozen potatoes none of the food is frozen okay so quick note and when you are slicing up your chicken your vegetables your potatoes you want to make it kind of squarish all right the best square you can get round square you just don't want it diced you know you don't want it really small so when i say square i'm thinking of like chunky you know and pre-oil your pan because when you put the when you put the kebabs together you're gonna need a paste to put, put put them okay so put a little avocado oil on your pan oil that up and we're gonna get started all right also mental note 
the chicken was pre-cut when I bought it. So sometimes they got like chicken tenders, they got chicken chunks, they got chicken diced. I got like the chicken diced. Chicken chunk and chicken diced is the same thing. Cause I was like, I, <laughs> cleaning the chicken, gotta put it together. I was trying to eliminate as many steps as I could. Okay, so they got the pre-cut chicken. It was the same price, you know, so save you a step get you some pre-cut chicken and get you some pre-cooked potatoes okay and again these potatoes were not frozen they're the roasted garlic potatoes that you just bake in the oven but we not, we not gonna bake them the way they want us to bake them we're gonna put them on a kebab all right so so fam with the zucchini you want to put the put the green part towards the end so that'll be your star your kebab that way it could kind of hold everything together you know you want a nice stable foundation <clears throat> in life so you want to make sure that you are putting the zucchini first green bottoms down and then I was going in with the peppers when I put the peppers and the onions on you want to do it face to the chicken meaning like you don't want to put the back towards the chicken. You want the inside of the peppers to be touching your chicken so the flavors could come together. Because when you eat this, so fam, you're going to be dropping it like it's hot. All right. And also when I was making these, so fam, the, um, I didn't want to put the potatoes on the chicken. Okay, so I was making sure that every time I put a potato, I kind of put an onion or a pepper in between it or a zucchini in between it. Just so like cooking wise, you don't want the potato to get soggy because it's already pre-cooked. All right, you don't want your potato to be do, do, do. So we're going to do a couple of these. So don't worry, so fam. I was like, let me get, let's do this a few times just in case because it, it, it is, it, it's, a, it's a few steps. <laughs> it's a few steps. All right, so first zucchini be careful with the zucchini because once you get it through the green part the soft light green part it just be ready to break apart and you don't want them to you don't want them to cook and then just kind of fall off the stick it's not that fun when you eating it okay this dish was really fun to put together and eat and i think that's what made me not even look at the time i didn't even feel like i was doing anything i think i i honestly i was recording i was like oh i'm still recording because you get so into the zone because again it's just so pretty it's so fun it's so hands-on like this is definitely a family dish you know so if you want to do like an activity don't sleep on this activity so fam because you got to put everything together you got to focus you got to be careful you don't poke your finger with the with the point on the end and just just like kids love baking cookies they would really love putting this together all right so fam and be gentle when you slide the potato on because again the potatoes pre-cooked so you don't want to be rushing and putting it on then it be falling apart and you trying to eat it it's just all over the place it's not even fun anymore it's broken okay let's not break it let's not break ourselves in the process come on so fam hey <laughs> all right so you're going to see, I'm going to speed up the video just a bit. I just really want you to get an eye of how I did this and how I was twirling this and having so much fun with it. So it's zucchini, onion, if you want your onions to, you want your chicken to kind of sit on the onion, like a little seat. Onion again, peppers again, and make it colorful so fam. So I did the yellow and the orange and the green because one, I'm just so colorful. I love all the colors. Look at me, I got on the orange dress. <laughs> it just... It just kind of adds a little bit more love to the dish, okay? And let me know what you what you put in yours. Also, be mindful, so fam, that the potatoes and the zucchini acts as your side dish, okay? So you know how you eat your chicken, then you eat some rice, then you eat some veggies. That's what you got going on here. You got some mashed potatoes, <laughs> not really, they're cut potatoes, and then you have your zucchini, and then you have your chicken. So, or your, you know, uh, meatless chicken or however you guys decide to put it together understand that this is what this is fulfilling so fam I, I ate about three or four of these and you know it's just me I just be cooking for me and I was like wow wow you know like sometimes we think we when we hungry and really hungry we got to eat a lot of food when in reality we have to eat fulfilling food you know, potatoes, zucchini, chicken, chicken. That's already a fulfilling dish. Look at this, oh fam. Look at this, oh fam. I was just like, let's put this on the grill. I'm gonna be honest, I ain't got a grill. So guess what we gonna do? We gonna pop this oven onto 400 
Oh no, I think it was 425 actually. I'll show you towards the end. Pop that in the middle of there. Once you spread them out on a nice cooking tray, all you Japan, your, your oven is hot, you ready to go. All right, oh, okay, 425. Preheat to 425, ghost it down, and quick note off camera, I did place a foil on top of it because I didn't want my chicken to dry out because the chicken was taking a little bit of time. And then I let it sit in the oven for 30 minutes. So 30 minutes later, I took the foil off and then I went and added my barbecue sauce. Okay, you don't want to add the barbecue sauce while it's trying to do its thing. You know, that's kind of doing too much. So oven for you cook for 25 minutes out barbecue sauce oven five ten more minutes let that heat and let that really soak in and so fam look at it look at me lifting this up look at this right in the oven because it's getting hot you know we can't be outside i know where i live so it'd be really hot so fam i'm gonna be making these once a week because they were so fast again they were so fun and they were so filling the three f's the only three f's we focused on oh another one come on boop, boop. fast fulfilling and fun all right so fam so i want you to try these out i want you to let me know if yours came out as beautiful as mine did because only a few potatoes fell off on a few of them these were my four best ones and so i learned that um when you pick the thicker potatoes they don't fall off the stick as easy okay so let me know how yours came out let me know what little things you added to yours i had the honey barbecue sauce and i was sitting down i was smacking so then i was dancing i was clapping i was like i think this is my first time making kebabs and i'm what a million years old you know so <laughs> You have to try this out for yourself. You got to add this to your menu. And, babe, if you're having a little small party, they're going to be jumping around. These is your little adderb slash pre-meals. They're going to be like the kebabs. And I think we forget about kebabs because it's not technically a soul food dish. Like, you ain't going to go to a Jamaican restaurant or a Spanish restaurant or, you know, American restaurant and see kebabs. You know, kebabs is more of a uh, Mediterranean dish, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to knock on their door and we're going to borrow these kebabs. Because eating on a set was just... I, I was like, well, what else can I put up on the stick? It was just so fun. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it just brings so much. It brings all of your senses into your meal. And I, I yeah. <laughs> I'm speechless. So fam, I appreciate you. I love you. Everything that you're doing is working out. Trust it. Believe it. Don't listen to that negativity. If it keep knocking at your door, address it. Be like, yo, what's up? Okay, you got an issue. Let's go to God with it. And you'd be surprised how quick that them, them coward, cowardly voices uh, disappear. Okay? Have no fear. All right? Because you are here. See ya.